They appear as painful, pus-filled blisters, usually on a person's trunk or shoulders. Shingles is basically the chickenpox virus that lives in one of our nerves in our body and actually could come out down a nerve. Sometimes shingles move across the face, infecting the eyes. So this is a patient with corneal scarring. We can see all this white area. Doctors can prescribe antiviral medications or eye drops, but sometimes those don't prevent scar tissue from forming. That's when transplant becomes an option. And in that case, we can basically do typically a full thickness cornea transplant, uh, so-called penetrating keratoplasty to remove uh, basically a round area of their cornea, typically about eight millimeters. And then we use a donor person's cornea, someone who's died and donates their eye, and we can then transplant that into position. Dr. Hood and his colleagues at the Kellogg Eye Center studied 53 patients who had the corneal transplants and found 94% of the grafts were intact one year after surgery and patients' vision improved significantly. There are options available now to help older adults avoid shingles. Doctors recommend adults get vaccinated usually at about age 50. I'm Marty Salt reporting.